Well, first thing, uh, we, let's talk about the deal itself. This is Jory Jacobs, who was former more capital trader, spinning out, starting to trade, by the way, with $3 billion, no small amount, wow, including a yeah. billion dollars itself from more capital. And so it's interesting to see more capital, which had, uh, had closed two investors already, start to back a new fund. And you're seeing these spin-off funds start to happen more and more, uh, especially when it comes to these hard to trade asset classes yep. that there are not a lot of traders uh, that exist in that world. Is, is that what they're going to call it? More and more. Um, sorry. <laughs> oh, terrible God. Joke. No, um, that was good, what are you though. doing? <laughs> it was a good one. <laughs> Talk to me about inflation trading and this new asset class that suddenly seems to be hot. Well, there's a few things behind this. One is this idea that inflation is still going to be very volatile and that it could still be hot in different uh, areas of the world for a while. So when you think about this broader world of macro trading uh, and cross-asset trading, this is a world that, if you know what you're doing, can do very well. It's also a very volatile world where you could lose a lot of money, too. But presumably, these are people that have done this for a while. George Jacobs has uh, been uh, a portfolio manager it more and ran inflation and fixed income, also a very hot area guy. And so you are seeing fixed income in particular talent be highly sought after out of most hedge funds. A survey by Goldman Sachs pretty uh, recently had shown that a lot more investors who are thinking about hedge funds are thinking more and more about credit and fixed income. That money has not moved in mass yet, but you are starting to see trickles of it like you are seeing with this more bet on Jacob.